Ms. Tina. Hey, by the way, uh, we're recording. Oh, um. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, sorry about that. It's been one heck of a month, and it's just you know what it's like where things just don't stop, and you just you're like, oh man, things are just so on the go. Yeah. Um. Somebody must have, you know, dropped that memo to the mailman or something because he's basically been on the go with um, um just a few, just a few manga. And hi, Mousy here. Yeah, yeah. The the editor, the editor is in the house today, so yeah, he's making sure that I do my video because and the last few weeks I'm not being like chaotic, like the unbelievable thing, Musicina. Is officially a point. Oh yes. Yeah. So that's why my videos haven't been coming out as much as they should have, or um. Oh, the weekly reads, for example. Yeah, that's going to stop for a while until you know things. But for now, we got the monthly haul. Like um, like I said, the mailman's probably overworked himself, poor bugger. Um, because all. Do you know how you pre-order things and they'd like to take months to come in? Well, they all decided, hey, April sounds like a great time, so let's all come in in April. Yeah, it's not that we ordered a lot, it's just that they all came in. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a shit ton of pre-orders that came in as well as, like, I can tell you now, the skip uh, the skip beat ones that you're going to see are basically finally ones I finally picked up. But let's begin with Full Metal Alchemist Volume 12. I know, it came out ages ago apparently, but uh, yeah, show them the back too. Okay, that's right. Look how shiny that is. Gorgeous. Finally, I got that. Um, Actually, get it all the way around, doesn't it? Kind of, yeah. Um, the depressing thing is, I haven't read that yet. <laughs> and you'll hear that for a lot of books on my pile because with work, with everything happening, I haven't been reading. So, Full Metal Alchemist 12 is one of those. Now, um, most of my friends know I hate, um... Disney in Disney? general? Yeah, in a way I hate Disney. I don't like their films much. I'm not a big Disney fan except for, like, Mulan. Yeah, that's basically the only one I really, really liked because I like the whole female warrior thing. Um, but recently we saw Frozen the Musical, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Guess who got Frozen the Manga? <laughs> We don't, we don't know who got it. Nope, never. No, 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 no. But it's the flopped version. So you read it like you would read a Western graphics novel. No, I spoiled it all. Yeah, he spoiled it all. Naughty. But yeah. Oof. Also, it, yeah, I know it's got the it's shiny. shiny thing going on. Also, I got it because I love anything by Arena Tanamura. I've got most of her stuff. I think I'm missing like... No, I think I have all of them now. And most of them I got with like a big bundle type thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, and it's also a Viz title. Shocking, isn't it? Usually it's Tokyo Pop that's got like a monopoly on the Disney. But yeah, that was actually a really good read. I like it. Um, but if you like the movie, there's a lot of things missing in it, according to our, our resident, resident, <laughs> resident Disney fan who loves Frozen. Just a little. Yeah, she loves it. She, she only saw the, uh, the stage show like twice. And she would have saw it again. Trust me. Um, here's another title I haven't read yet. It is a Kendansha title. Yes. Surprising. I still support Kendansha. <laughs> it's Something's Wrong With Us Volume 5. With Kendansha's, we don't know how to follow a calendar date thing going on like Viz and every other company. But actually they're a bit better. Because their website actually goes, yeah, this is well, this is when it's coming out, and it's unlike this is this is when it's coming out. Oh look, it's two weeks earlier. But unfortunately, Kandasha always moves them around. I've been keeping track of some of the dates, and they keep on moving forward and backwards all the time. Yeah, like volume seven is coming out next week, while volume six is coming out in a two months time, and it's like. And there's some other title as well, something like that. I can't remember which one it is, but yeah, uh, yeah the, the later ones coming out before the earlier ones. Yeah. Um, basically, it's that one and neither the Ice Five. They both have the similar issue. I've read that one. That one's. Um, I'm having a mixed feeling about this because the main characters are shitting me a bit. But well, this is all just me. Literary as well. Yeah, I know. Some of the 
They've got some really nice covers on their stuff. There's just some news. Um, I think one of the mangas in my pile somewhere has like a really, 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 really nice feeling cover. But um, I think it's cover for it. I don't know. No, it's not you. Oh well. We'll, we'll find, find it. it. We'll, we'll find, find it eventually. Because you'll hear me go, ooh, oh, yummy. Now, here's a title that I've been waiting for since like the beginning of last month and it finally came in because. Remember, in the last haul, we mentioned Volume 4. Here's Volume 3 of ReZero. <laughs> finally, read it, finally caught up. Now I have to order 6 onwards because guess who also came in this month? Volume 5, but you will see it later on. Yeah, we're doing it kind of week by week. Yeah, so. we're going by the week. This is the first week, which happened from like the 28th of March to about, well, Six, technically seven. it's like, actually technically it's like the third of Mar 31st of March to like this fourth. Well, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And I accidentally screwed up on week two and didn't record anyone. So week three is basically like. Week two and three. Yeah. Huge. Um, next one is the fattest. I think the second fattest one, or it's tied first with um, Last Round Arthur's. But volume 25 of Blue Exorcist. That was a great read. So much happening. This, it just really pulls out your heartstrings type happening. Um, now I'm waiting for 26 because it, the cliffhanger just, just killed me. Yeah. It's thick, baby. It's a thick, chunky monkey. Now, as we all know, series are ending, especially for Shoujo Beat, because honestly, I'm going to tell everyone this because it's not a lie. I'm glad that a lot of series I'm collecting by them is finishing because, no offense, I kind of don't want to support them as much as I used to. It really doesn't help when, even if you politely interact with some people, their social media account, they they still really, really mean. Yeah, I uh, I tested the waters by suggesting some helpful tips on how they could maybe improve, and I got banned straight away. Yeah, not even a warning. Nothing. I got banned. I mean, honestly, you don't even say anything worth blocking. I got blocked, but. I kind of deserved it in a way because I kind of pointed out that if they did like this marketing a bit better, they would have got more interaction or, you know, just don't verbally abuse people and, you know, get them with said death threats and all that. But, you know, point that out. They don't like it. But I did start collecting one of the new series they brought out because I love anything by Ray Turner and I picked up The King's Beast, Volume 1. I cannot wait for Volume 2 because apparently, according to the creator, she said Volume 1 and 2 came out at the same time and that the covers go together. And I actually kind of really enjoyed that series. Well, that's interesting. So I'm guessing, like, cover 2 goes over here. No, cover 2 goes no? over oh, here, okay. apparently. But, That'll be interesting to see them both together, actually. Yes, that's why I can't wait till 2 comes in so I can actually make Actually, that. is the cover out already? Because I may do this in post. Um, and yes, so yes. you'll see it in post if they I get... Volume yeah. 1 and 2 covers together. I'll stick them together up in the corner somewhere. Yeah. Up, like over here somewhere. Volume 2 has come out, yes. Okay, well, so... The image is out. It's just the volume is coming out soon-ish or it's been sent or something like that. Yeah, so I'll stick it over there yeah. somewhere. So the next one is, of course, it's another Shoujo Beat title because once you start collecting, you've got to finish what you started. So this is a series I picked up because of a huge bundle buy, but now I'm finally collecting it. It is Skip Beat Volume 32. Now, this is interesting. When you see the back of this, you'll be like, okay, that's normal. That's what the old school backs used to kind of look like. And then you've got 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then show them work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got 34. Watch this. Oh, the backs are now what we're used to seeing from Shoujo Beat. That's like a cover around? Yeah, it's a cover around. I'll do it carefully because yeah. I don't like damaging... Oops. Yeah, because oh, I kicked your butt. Oh, that one's recent. Okay. Next. So, so I can do this, and oh, there we go. All three books in the future at once. Yeah. I actually pulled the wrong pile towards me, so uh, 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 I've got to work on this. Oh my god. Got it. Alright, uh, two piles on me for week two, three. Well, technically, it would be more like week. 
One, two, it's more like two, three. Week, week point five. This is week one, two, technically. Um, first one is a Dempa title. There is two Dempas this month, which is really surprising. Um, and it is volume seven of Inside Murray by Shuzo, Shuzo Oshimi. I really, really bad the name sometimes. It was a good read. It is getting very interesting. Um, wow, it is one of those volumes where you're reading it and you're just like, wow, shit is really getting intense. I was by that. Ha. Huh. It is spoiled. Totally do. Um, Sorry for no spoiler alert. <laughs> yes, because apparently we do that here. Um, the next one is a Kadansha title again. Um, it is a new series they brought out, which I'm... At first I got it because it sounded interesting. It was very unique. Unique. You're wondering, how can a manga series be unique? Well, it's about a deaf girl in a sign of affection. I picked this up because I like the sound of it. And also people have mentioned that, oh, it's a good manga. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. So I've pre-ordered it and I've read it. And I absolutely love it. And I cannot, I cannot, cannot, I cannot wait to get volume two. Um, funnily enough, the next volume I'm going to show is the one I read today. <laughs> I just finished reading it before making this video. And that's Demon Slayer volume 20. Um, I like, I actually kind of like the story of the demon they versed in this one. It's kind of sad in a way. I mean, I enjoyed, I actually enjoyed his story more than Derma's and that. I mean, uh, Derma <laughs> felt like I was reading about some egotistical person in a way. But I really enjoyed that one. It's a good one. It's also getting very close to its end, so. I think it's like three more is right. Uh, Beyond this. Two more, technically, because the other one's in the pile. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. One, yeah. Uh, next one is another favourite of mine. I also love the introduction of a new character. And it has Bond on the cover, who is the new character in Spy X Family. He is so cute. I love how they meet, and I love how they, like, he gets along with Anya, and, oh, this, this volume was entertaining as hell. I really liked it. Can't wait to read, can't wait to read more. And thankfully, I haven't bought any more um, Spy X Family merch, though. <laughs> I have ordered some Yonor of the Dawn merch because finally we're getting there. Um, it's kind of one I've always wanted. Um, next one I haven't read because I'm terrible. It is Persona 5 Volume 6. I haven't read it because, yeah, yeah, same excuse as the beginning. Get job, no more reading. Oh well. Well, not necessarily no reading, it's just less reading. Oh, yeah. By now, I would have probably binged my whole pile and read the book I've been wanting to read the most, but oh well, I'll get there. Next one is the finale of a volume. It is the final volume of An Incurable Case of Love. Honestly, so glad that ended. The ending uh, it could have been done better in a way, but it's good for what it is. Um, I really hope they don't bring out more Maki and, and Joji mangas. They could bring out so many other ones like Honey so Honey Lemon Soda, Rainbow Days. There's probably half a dozen more, but those are the two I really want. But watch Shoujo Beat never bring out anything other than really slow releases or things that are basically on hiatus because they spent that like um, one of the recent ones is only like two volumes in two years. Like, really? Do we need more series like that? They're going to run out of series soon. And they've yeah. just got these really slow release ones. I mean, Skip Beat, I think, slow down quite a bit. Um, Idle Dreams and Kakadio come out once a year, if lucky. Um, yeah, with, with Skip Beat, I think they came out once a month, wasn't it? Now it's down like once every two or three months or something. I don't know. I think I, so. I, it's more like I've finally caught up to Skip Beats, but I think Skip Beat used to be like once like once every two months, two or three months. Yeah. And now it's like once every six, maybe. I don't really keep tabs on this sort of thing, but I know that series slowed right down. And they've got other series that are really freaking slow. And with series ending... 
What are you going to do to keep people coming back? Reprints. No, good luck. <laughs> Nancy's so against that. Go special order. Yeah, it only works in America. How bookstores, if they don't have it on the list and they have no way to get it, they're not going to bother. We're not lucky. But it's lucky that series like Queen's Quality is still going, which, thank the Lord, is reasonable, reasonably long because it doesn't look like it's having an end quite soon, but it's getting quite close at the same time. It's like the next two books. We don't know when Skip Beat's ending, but there's 35 and 36. You know, by friends. But yeah, finally. I'm now I've got up to forty two in the mail now. So I'm waiting for thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine to come in, forty and forty one and forty two. And then I'll just need to get forty three, forty four, forty five and I'm up to date. I'm enjoying where it's going. I think it was volume thirty five I hated with a passion because I wanted to punch the main character so hard in the face. But I couldn't. So, yeah. This is why I end up collecting other series like Yana of the Dawn. Which, as I said previously, I started getting... I've got three acrylic stands coming in. Something like that. Yeah, with Yana, Huck, and Shina. Because they're my favourites. I would have got the lot, but I just stuck with my favourites for now. So, yeah. And also, I think it was... Huck's one that's really cute too. I don't remember. It's been a while since I looked online at it. But of course, whenever you think of Shoujo Beats and new long series that are actually really entertaining that's on the same vein of Yona of the Dawn, of course, you've got to continue getting with Snow White with the Red Hair with Volume 12 coming out. Amazing, isn't it? Isn't this one coming to an end as well, I think? Who knows? Oh, it's just one of the ongoings. I yeah, can't remember which one it was. Really, there's, there, to me, the three longest ongoing series that I'm collecting currently from Skip, uh, Shoujo Beat is Skip Beat, Shoujo, yeah, Shoujo, Shoujo Beat, um, is Skip Beat, Yona of the Dawn. I think Yona is coming close to the end, apparently, last I heard. And Snow White with the Red Hair. But currently, my longest series I own to date is now Skip Beat. Not any of my shoujo, not any of my shonens are getting close to the insane level of bloody Skip Beat. Um, so, um, here we go. We got the standalone that I can't read because, uh. You don't have five. I ordered five. Um, apparently it went out of stock and my order was refunded and I nearly swore so badly, but I couldn't because when you're on public transport, I'm a bit polite. I don't swear in public. I wait till I'm alone and then I call the bloody email very horrible names. Makes me feel good though. We will eventually get number five though. We will eventually get number five. Um, the next one is the final volume of Last Round Arthur's Manga. I haven't read that one. <laughs> You're actually going to hear that comment quite a lot in the video. <laughs> because, yeah, that one's too far in the pile again. Um, but oh well, I'll get there eventually. So hey, hello, Aggie. Hi, Ags. Please don't look, knock the marker out. Yeah, it's just not the book. But I picked up a new Yen Press title to compensate the fact that last round Arthur's is finished. Really, Aggie? Really? Really? This, 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 is, this is what we're going to do, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she's going to be using our book stand now. Yeah. Yeah, we go. Who's a good Aggie? Oh, yeah, you like your chin scratches. Anyway, uh, because of the fact that a lot of Yen Press titles are ending as well, of course that means one thing. Can't stop cursing you. Might as well start collecting that. At first I wasn't going to get it. But then again, I'm like, how many friggin' horror base makers are actually coming out? Not as Not as much as I want. So, pick that up. Worth it. It is quite an enjoyable series. Really dark. Really cannot wait for more. Um, it's just like how I want the novel version of uh, Fiancé and the Wizard Volume 2. Now, 
This one was about how many days late? Is this one of the 50-something or no, the 80-something? No, that was 80. The condition that the envelope came in was a dead giveaway on how bad the condition is. That 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 dip, man. It was also... Right, yeah, if you're saying the shine. Yeah, I was about to say, if you want to know something interesting, see how flat the book is now. When I first got it, it was basically turning into an S. Right. You, yeah, it was horrible. Even worse than that. <laughs> yeah, so it, it spent the whole time under piles of books so to get it back to the nice flat. <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering why didn't you report it back, well, at that point I just I came home from work, saw it in that condition, and just went, fuck it, I'm not bothering. Not today. I'm not in the mood. And, and especially when it's taking so long, we have to contact uh, a yeah. bookstore. I don't think it's necessarily a bookstore's fault, though, because it it's taking that long, fault. but it's the mail because it's COVID mail. and all this. But, yeah, you just sometimes just go, no, nah, I'm not even going to bother. That one I didn't bother with, but there's another book in the pile, which I'll show you the condition that it came in, which I'm going to tell them to check. I don't care about refunds at this point for that one because ooh, we're going to show you the whole story about that one. But, as I said, to compensate the fact that series are ending, here's another series that's ended, which is Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls, Volume 3. That is the final volume. It is, was it was a good read. I enjoyed it. It made me remember how I want to play the game again, which I will do eventually, but at the moment I'm just going to sit back and relish the fact that I finished the manga. Good times. Now. These two volumes took a while to come in as well, but let's first start with Cutie and the Beast. Yes, typical age gap manga, but it is adorable. It is so good. I love it, and I need volume three. I actually read the first, vol first volume and half of this online when I first heard it announced because it was one of those that once I started reading, I couldn't stop. Could not stop. It was that cute. But now that I'm at the section where I haven't read, I'm so glad it's so good. It's getting so much better. Cannot wait for volume three. Just, this is actually a light book, actually. Yeah, don't worry. Here comes volume two of uh, Wits of Blue. I also cannot wait for volume three of that because the cover on it is so gorgeous. Oh my god. Love, 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 love the cover. But the story itself, I really love. I love where it's going. You're learning a lot more about Giselle and you're seeing more of Ayo's Ayo, Ayo skill. Yeah. It's another wraparound. Oh. The colour page in that is gorgeous, though. Show on that mm -hmm. page. Okay. Yeah, that's another reason why I love the story. It is so cute. I'm not sure if that's on hiatus because they share a similar creator with Ancient Magus Bride, but because it's also done by someone else at the same time, it might not be on hiatus. I have no idea. I don't know how that works sometimes. But then again, what do I know? Half the time I'm too tired to function. Which is true. Yeah. Now we're up to my next one. This is the one I keep saying that at this rate I'm never going to read it. <laughs> this one's not okay. <laughs> but basically, uh, it's sitting right at the bottom of my pile because of the fact that it's a hard cover. It's thick. It's done by my oh, favourite mangaka in the whole world. If people have been watching your uh, your videos for a while, I think they should know who your favourite mangaka is. Yes, yes, they should know by now, but we don't know that. Um, but the manga that I'm probably never going to read until like two months' time is Love Sickness by Jinji Ito. Um, heck, if I ever meet, meet Jinji Ito, I'd probably bring like my art book or something. And be like, please sign. Or, oh no, I'll read the cat diaries. It is. I cannot wait to read that. Um, but at the moment, I have not read it. Though I am happy that Condenture is doing a um, reprint of um, Cat Diaries by Jujito. Apparently, it's going to have extra stuff in it. So I'm looking forward to that because my copy is slightly damaged because it came like that. And this is like years ago when I first got it. But. For now, I don't mind. I can wait. That means I'm going to have two copies of Cat Diary. <laughs> Which I normally am against, but I'm fine with it now. 
Now, surprisingly, okay, this is going to come with a tail too. So this is going to be a bit of a long video. Apologize for that. Um, not really. Well, it's going to be a long video anyway because there's oh, a number yeah. of books for. Uh, We've still got I mean, like two piles beside me. We haven't even finished. Um, I went to the local QBD because I had to pick up um, Hawk by James Patterson. Oh, I can show you that book. I mean, have you got it handy? Yeah, I do. It's beside me. It's just buried under the PlayStation 4 game. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe it's not beside you. Oh, no, it is. I just double checked where I normally sit it. It's buried. Wow. Nope. Okay. Um. Anyway, you got the anyway. I'll, I'll put a I'll put a little thingy up in the yeah, corner I'll there. Yeah, put a thingy up in the corner. But basically, um, Hawk is the tenth installment of the Maximum Ride novel series by James Patterson. Um, long before I started collecting manga properly, um, it's easy enough to get novels. But when I went to go pick up that volume for QBD, I noticed that their manga range has finally gone from one shelf to one and a half. And then the sales, one of the salespeople, um, came over and goes, oh. Just give us your request and we'll see if we can bring it in because we're planning to, you know, make some of the other sections smaller to increase the manga collection because of the high demand. Most people, usually Americans, no offense to you guys, it always seems to be you guys complaining about this online, that you don't like people, but, uh, the, you want the fact, you don't like a lot of people buying manga so you can't get it. For people like me who live in Australia, we want that. Because that means we won't have just Kinokuniya monopolizing the whole manga department. Now I can do, actually, by the sounds of it, I can go down to the store instead of going to the city, or, like our main city of Sydney all the time to get manga. Which is about an hour and a half journey, just to, one way just to get there. Yeah, which is basically one way to work for me, but that's a different story. I get paid to go to work, I don't get paid to go to Kino. Rather, I pay Kino for like, yeah, we do have bookstores close to us. It's just that just, they're, either they don't sell manga at all, or their range is not very uh, large, or they've only put out dealing with popular titles. Or, basically, you go to your, our local bookstores if you want Condenture or Viz titles. You will not find the Yen Press. You will not find Dark Horse. You will not find Seven Seas. You will not find Verticals. Find J Novel. You won't find J Novel, and you won't find Denver. So your only, your only choice is basically this and Kandansha. Because I got this on the week I started work. So I basically, when I picked up Hawk, I'm like, hey, Mouse, can I buy it? Can I buy, should I buy this manga? And he's like, it's your first paycheck. Do something good with it. Buy yourself something you want. So I bought Orient. Uh, when I first tried to read it online, I found it boring as shit. So I, so surprisingly that I bought it. So I bought it, read it, and realized I actually enjoyed it. It's actually not bad. I cannot wait till QBD gets volume two eventually and then maybe fly me to the moon four because I'm going to actually give them a whole, I'm going to give them my whole list, you know? If they want more manga, I'm going to try and get them to bring in Yen Press and Seven Seas titles because they, everyone needs to know about this. They need them. As I said, I don't like how people are complaining that their mangas are always sold out and they can't get copies. Sure, it happens to me too, but online. But if we don't get them popular here, we're not going to keep getting copies here. And for once, I would like to be like everyone else, go to my local bookstore and be like, ha, 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 look at my haul from the bookstore. Instead of, ha, 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 look at the mail finally came in, oh dear God, what the fuck, type thing. I mean, we don't, we're never going to get a boat Barnes & Nobles here, but if we can get our QBD up to date, that'd be nice. I think the next closest store to us that sells a lot of uh, manga is Comic something in Canberra, which is like a three-hour drive. Comics. Oh, Impact Comics, which is like a three-hour three drive. Hours. Um, three hours. We're willing to drive three hours to a comic book store, yes. Yes, we have actually done that. We have done that. Twice now? Yeah. One time it was Ingress, this one it was like personal and yeah. Next one is Daytime Shooting Star Volume 11. I am Team Mamura. I think that's his name. I hate the teacher. Yes, I do, because what he did in this pissed me right off. But it ends in one more volume, which is not surprising considering that um, Shoujo Beats basically 
their style these days. I know I shouldn't keep shitting on Shoujo B, but... <laughs> It's a bit hard when they give you so much material. Yeah, they give, me, they give me plenty of ammo too. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. You can feel free to tell Nancy all about this because, no offense, she can't do shit to my account anyway. She blocked me and I returned the favor. You can't block someone who's already blocked. Yeah. But you can keep calling me toxic in that. I don't care. I'll wear that as a badge of pride now because, bitch. Despite being toxic, I still still support your fucking co company, don't I? Ha! My toxic ass still supports you. Anyway, Love Me, Love Me Not was a good read. Shit is finally progressing. It's amazing. It's really good. And then how the volume ended made me just want to throw it out a window because it's, I have to wait to volume A. And God knows when that will come in the mail. But glad that this is now halfway, so at least I still have a few more series that... I'm still collecting. Just like Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Volume 8 has finally come out. Super excited. It's one of my favorite Zeldas. It looks, it looks so serious. Yeah, it looks so cool too. He's like, I'm going to kick your ass. And it's like, Although the right. title here looks a bit blurred. Yeah, I know. But oh well. I think it's meant to be like glowy, but, yeah, but the glow makes it look more blurred. Yeah, but the glow does not trans translate well on book, apparently. Um. All right, next one is another volume I haven't read, like the Twilight Princess one. That's why I'm not going on about how amazing it is, because yeah, same excuse. Um, next is Toilet Bound Hanaka Kun Volume Eight. Finally got that in. Um, the funny thing is, the next Yen Yen Pretz title, which I'm going to put with it because it's a similar color theme, is Happy Sugar Life Volume Eight. I mean, I'm s sensing a theme here. A lot of my mangas are like coming out at the same time and they're the same volume. With this one has two more to go. God knows when that's it. I'm not upset by it. Next one is um I'm gonna keep doing this for a little while, is Love Sick Ellie, the German copy. Good news everybody, type thing. Um so glad Kandecha finally printed it. Now now they need to get their ass on top of this series too. My boyfriend in orange. Yeah, stick all the Tokyo pop titles oh, in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do this. Now we got my boyfriend in orange, which is about the fire brigade. Oh. I can't wait till that gets printed in English, along with my boyfriend in blue or something like that. Oh, something like that. Basically, it's about a cop instead of a fire brigade. I like the fire brigade one. It's very fascinating. It actually gives you an insight to the Japanese fire department, which is very different to what I'm used to here in Australia. So that was very an interesting read. Next. Isn't one of these are in German, aren't they? Yes, they're both in German. Now, isn't one of them going to be printed in English? Yeah, Love Sick Ellie. Yeah, uh, later this year, I think. Yes, at the end of this year, which I'm super excited for because now I can finally read it and not feel guilty because it's like I don't know German well that well. Oh shit, might as well read it all. <laughs> but now it's like, but yeah. at least at least you're only reading the ones that you've actually bought yes. physical copies of. So yes. it's not like you're reading scans of like a legal copy type thing. You're only trying to, try to get a translation of it. Yeah, because I can vaguely understand it, but because my German's not fluent or even immediate, intermediate, it's just big, basic to intermediate. So I under things mostly from context. Um, it's better when I read the English because then it fills the gaps that I missed. Just like my next life as a villainess, volume five. I like where this is going. I really do. But the surprising thing is, it must be because I've read so many good titles these day, last few days, that I can't remember the story that strongly. But there's another villainous series that I'm going to mention soon that left a huge impact on me. Oh my gosh. It's really good. I'm so glad I picked this title up, but we'll see you soon. The next one that I'm actually really enjoying is The, Saint, the Saint's Magic is Omnipotent. I like where this is heading. I like the main character. I love the story. It is so cute. Kind of want to bang one of the dudes in it because he's got like, he's really cute. It's not that hard to figure out why. There's, uh, Mizu has one ultimate weakness. I'm not gonna say it. You can say it if you want. Glasses. Yeah. Nerdy glasses. I love. I like. I like my boys with glasses. <laughs> Doesn't help that my partner also wears glasses. I didn't date him because of that. Hold on, I can put my glasses on. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm off camera with glasses. Hello. 
I really love a guy with glasses. I can't help myself. The last one for this pile is Galgo Hunt. Um, put your finger in that cap because we're going to show people that. Okay, yep. You can't get this in Australia. It is very hard to. You, it's really hard to get it online anyway. I got it from Booktopia before they took it off. So I managed to score big. But what I'm going to show you is why I'm going to mention it to Booktopia to check. That is machine oil or lubricant. That shit has permanently screwed that manga. But it's still... Well, I have to wipe a little bit of, yeah, of it off, but, but it's still it's stained. Still it's stained. And I think right near the end as well, wasn't there? Yeah, the um, last page. Not very last page. There's some along here. But it's not bad. Yeah, it's still like the very back, so it doesn't yeah, matter. It's the but... very back, so I don't care. But the part in the manga makes me go, oh, I should just mention that they should check their other copies just in case. Just to make sure that all their other bonds aren't damaged either. So, yeah. Now, we're up to the second last pile. This is the largest one out of the two because the other pile was because I didn't make note on which week they came in. They just came in and being my tired ass self, I just went, fuck it. Let's just stick you in the pile anyway. What? The Her pile just uh, fell, fell apart. I decapitated the white pile. Now, this one's going to have a lot more series of, I didn't read this, I didn't read this, I haven't read this. Oh, I've read all these because they're short. Short as in height, not as in length. So let's begin with the other Denpa title, The Girl with the Sampaku Eyes Volume 2. Um, haven't read it, so I can't comment further than... So short as in this way. Yeah. No, no, no. Short as in height-wise. So if the book's like that tall, I read that first. If it's oh. that tall, I'm up to it now. If it's this tall... As opposed to like... That one I've read, these ones I read first. And then things like this size was second. So I haven't read Great Priest in a tip, um, Volume 8. That's also nearing its end, too. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm being slightly dramatic now. I'm not really that heartbroken over it because uh, there's plenty more to compensate the fact that oh my God, I have so many. Um, the next one is another one I haven't read, so I'm not going to bother talking about that further. But it's Jujutsu Kaisen number nine. Now, I was supposed to do this in a uh, note beforehand, so before all the people come in saying, why are you getting mangas and you're not reading them type thing? Um, well, I pre ordered them all. So they come in whenever they bloody well want. And because my schedule's changed from basically I do nothing to now I have to do something. I don't have the read the time to read anymore. So I can understand all the people who buy mangas and go, yeah, I'm gonna read them eventually, but I have to go to work sales down or I have time. Yeah, I understand you guys now. <laughs> Cause damn, I thought like my job wouldn't impact that much, but it has. I've been like slaughtered every time I've come home. And because the social life and doing things and appointments hasn't stopped either, it's exhausting. Yeah, it just so happened to have everything happening just right now when she started working. Yeah. Um, like, you couldn't just do, like, a few things. No, it has to, everything, everything had to happen right now. Yeah, I think today's the only day I have off for the next week and a bit. And that's why I pretty much we're, we're yeah, recording. Yeah, that's why we're doing the video now. <laughs> because what else are we going to do? Um, this is the volume I'm currently up to now, and that's Demon Slayer Volume 21. There is, I think, two more volumes to go. And that's it. That's the end of Demon Slayer. It's not going to stop me buying half a dozen merchandise for the damn series, especially if it's Nezuko related. Yes, I have another Nezuko in my Ami Ami order list. Of course you... No, yep. no not that one. Okay, I'm going to pull one out, but uh, no. yeah, whatever. He was going to try and pull the Nezuko Nendo. She, she's just like, no, nope, I'm not going anywhere. I don't blame her either. Uh, the next one is a series I've been waiting for for a while. It is Moriarty, The Patriot, Volume 3. I haven't read it. <laughs> Favourite colour, though. Love purple. Still haven't read it. Just like the next volume. I haven't read it either. As I said, this pile was basically, I haven't read it. I haven't read it. Haven't well, these read. are also the ones that came in re recently. Yeah, this so. one also came. This is like the recent, recent pile. Uh, the next pile is basically, these came in, but they're too far down the line and haven't read it. Or, and I've read that before the huge influx came in, so I think one of them came week two. 
But anyway, I got also Love of Kill. This one I have read because I wanted to see if I wanted to continue buying it, like the next book. Um, that one I definitely do. I haven't read the next book that I'm going to show you yet because um, I'm trying to finish Demon Slayer to read the next volume, of, the read the first volume of Love and Heart. Um, I picked that one up because I think that was a psychological type shoujo, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to read this. While Love of Kill is like an action-y type shoujo. And I really enjoyed that. Now, the next part I can almost happily say, no, I don't think I've read this one yet, no. Not yet. I got ahead of myself thinking I read this one and I realised, no, I read volume two of it. And Fiance of the Wizard volume three has also come in. I was like, really? Really? What a month. That both of these came in. Oh, I just noticed something. If you look at the spine there, there's a huge den. I did not notice that. Yeah. Wow. Maybe I can shine it on the... I'm not sure if it's male, that damage oh, down, is male. Down here. Yeah. Not sure if that's male <laughs> damage or something, but... Oh, okay. Uh, oh well, who cares? Um, I can complain if I want to, but I, yeah, just some things I really can't be bothered with anymore because it's not. Honestly, that one wasn't that bad. You can't no. really see it. But number two, ooh. oh yeah, and Galhohan Seven. Those are those are the types of damages I will complain about. I won't complain about like minor damage that won't kill anyone. I mean, like when the distributors when they're making it and they cut the spine a bit. Like when they come up like here and say cut, cut a little bit off there yeah. or something. Um, but yeah. Well, that's part of the manufacturing process, which. Yeah, which happens a lot. Happens to be much every book. Yeah, and then you have ones that have like little dents in the corner. Big whoop, not damage in the book. Another one I haven't read, but I look forward to reading. Because it's my favourite shoujo. It's so cute. I love the main character. I like the cover. The cover is really nice. Yeah, and I love the art style. Honestly, I cannot wait for a figurine of her, and in either her in a normal form or halfway through a kaiju transformation or the full kaiju, because either way I'd buy all three. <laughs> and my partner's like, "Yeah, and where yeah. are you going to put that?" <laughs> it's like, I'll find a place. I always do. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! It's near the end of this month, and the oh, I'm going to find out when the April Emmy Emmy is coming out. Mm. And this time, um. Sheldrake has an order in it too, so ah, she has to join in with paying. Fun. But April's a huge order that I'm waiting on because I think it's got like two Nindos, um, a few figurines, and two case slips and something for Sheldrake. But the next one, this is the villainous book I was talking about that left a huge impression. It is Tokyo Pops. I was reincarnated as a villainous in an ultimate game, but the boys love me anyway. Just a very sh one of those very short uh, titles that yeah. they always do. Yeah, one that Fallout Boy would be very proud of. It is a good read, definitely worth checking out. If you especially love the Esekai villainess type thing. The first volume, simply put, is you get the introduction to what's currently happening and then the main character goes, let me tell you how this all began and why they're all over me like white on rice. And basically you start learning about the progress to where she is now. Like uh, one one of those type of stories where they start in the middle yep. and then rewind and then move up to it yep. and then go for it again. And then keep going. My favourite chapter in that would be the last chapter where you see from the main character's um, Mystia's um, parents and how she was when she was a young child and it makes so much sense and it's so cute. Oh, I thought it was a sweet sort of thing. Now here's another two I read. These both came in one after the other. Thankfully four came in before five because, you know, I had to read four and five, but my J novels of Ascendance of the Bookworm, I'll Do Anything to Become a Librarian, volume four and five of the manga. Um, yeah, they're one of the few books where I hate the size, but I'm willing to still buy it because it's actually a good read. Really enjoyed it, just as much as I've enjoyed the novel. I like the that almost chibi too. style throwing yeah. in the back. That is a cute. Still, the main character does shit me the bits, but... Um, uh, like the side characters have helped mellow her down a bit and made it more tolerable, which I really enjoy. My favorite character would be Lux, without a doubt. He's such a sweetie pie, that one. Of course, you can never have enough series finishing, like Ghostly Things. Now, Ghostly Things, it's a good read. Hated the ending. 
because I thought the whole story was she finds her mother, not she finds a clue to get to her mother and then the series finishes. I'm hoping there's like a ghostly things too, or like ghostly stuff, and it's basically about her finally going to the other side to find her mother. That would be amazing. Sorry if I spoiled it for you, but basically the ending's a big screw you. Note to self, put a spoiler alert just before you start talking here. Yeah, <laughs> because it's a good series. It just came out, just ended, but that ending. Ugh, that ending. Mm. Another series that's one off from the ending is another Fallout Boy title called We Swore to Meet in the Next Life, and that's when things got weird. Yes, do you want to know why it got weird? A 22 year age gap. But I like the sentiment of it. Because by the looks of it, they're just wanting to be together without anything progressing further that would basically be called illegal. It's really cute. I'm really enjoying that. So glad it's ending in the next one. <laughs> Only for one reason. One less series to collect because I have too many damn series. Well, I think my list of series that I'm keeping track of is like a hundred and something series. Some of them are, yeah. are slow burn or slow releases. Slow releases. And there um, are some that are like qu coming out so quickly they're about to finish anyway. So, yeah, there's still like a hundred and something on my list of yeah. ones you're yeah. eventually going to get. Yeah, and then you've got some new titles are coming out. And even then, with all the only recent new licenses, there's only like three I want. Even that's dropped drastically over the years. So that's progress. The next one only has two volumes to go. It is Magical Girl Sight. Shit, man. Oh, my God. The shit hit the fan in this one. Holy shit. What the hell? At one point, I'm like, what is this shit? What is this? Is this sperm? Is there sperm in this? Oh, yeah. There is. There is. She had, she had to show me I that. had to show him. He was just like, what in the world? If I showed one of my friends this, they'd probably be like, oh, my God, Mizu, what the fuck are you reading? And it's like, at least it's not like Bakamonogatari. I still have friends questioning why I read Can't that. Not yeah, it's near the back. You just see this big white sperm. <laughs> no, there is a whole story behind that, and I am not going there. <laughs> that is someone else's problem. Now, the last pile, finally, the ones that I forgot to take note of. I'm starting with the, you know, I have to do it in pile order. First, we'll start with another series that's going to end in one more volume. Ruby, the Beacon Arc uh, manga. The official manga, the Beacon Arc. Beacon Academy Arc. Sorry, my English is fantastic. It ends in one more volume. I am a bit heartbroken. I'm though I am looking forward to the anthology where another wrap around. Ooh. No, it's not. Yes it is. Yes it is. If you look inside the book, uh there's the first colour page. Which is the basically the whole how, you went past it, it was the first page. There you go. That's the whole image of the wraparound. So you've got Penny, Weiss, Ruby, Yang, Blake, uh, Neptune, and... Oh, I forgot Goku's name. Monkey Boy, I forgot his name, I'm sorry. I can't remember his name either. Yeah, but, oh. but, we know those two want to hook up. That's all I know. Um, another one, uh, funnily enough, this series is ending too. Holy shit. It's only got about five, six volumes to go. It is uh, Hell's Paradise. I haven't read that either, like I haven't read Ruby. It's getting really good, last time I checked. <laughs> Not sure about this volume. But shit's hitting a fan in that series in a way. Just like in Kakagure Twin Volume 9, which is actually, I think, one of the biggest out of that series. That's thick. Yeah, that's actually one of the bigger ones out of it. I haven't read that either, but I'm getting really excited because I love anything Kakagure related. Actually, um, I'm not sure if it's done yet. Um, I think it's going to be due soon, but the, I backed a Kickstarter of somebody making pins for the series, and um, I pre-ordered three of them because I wanted Mary, Yumiko, and Rurika, I think her name is. Rurika. Basically, the chick with the mask. You yes, see, Kickstarter is still, still going by the time I get around to editing this and uploading. No, it's ending no. in, let's see, Jamie can't. Mizu can't remember her um, code. Mizu is not a bride. Which is being all that is anyway. Mm -hmm. Alright, um. Surprise, it's still going. Uh, it ends in 12 hours at the making of this video. Um, I can show you what the pins look like. 
So yeah, the link is not going to be uh, unless I do a plug for like no. Yeah, you can do pre-orders, I think, for their site. All right. Let's see, there you go. You got Yumiko, Mary, Kigari, Runa, Sumaragi, Midari, and Ririka. Ririka, not Ririka. Ririka. I was close, but Ririka. So that's the one I'm getting in. Those two pictures. Yay. Best girls. Um, yeah, I got an early bird. I was lucky. It was nearing right. I was. I got the last one for the three, so I was like, yes, because shipping's going to be worth it. Because <laughs> the pins were costing me nothing. Like, anyway, finally, onto the last finally, pile. We got one gum tree order because I've been trying to find volume three or two for ages, and where I originally ordered it, it I ordered it like a year ago, and then COVID hit. For those of you who don't know what Gumtree is, um, it's like an eBay for Australia. Yeah. And so somebody was selling the series. And also, I also pre got it for the fact that eventually I had to replace my volume one to make it all match. But they had all five, so I was like, hell yeah. And it was like freaking peanuts too, including shipping. It was peanuts. We have Blood Volume 1, Blood Plus Volume 1. Okay. I might continue getting the rest of the series, but I haven't decided yet. Uh, number two, this is actually an entertaining read. Number three, if you like vampires, definitely worth checking out. Volume four. Um, yeah, it was a good series. I really enjoyed that. And volume five. And that's all of them. Unless you want to look at video games, then video games. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was all today, um, except for four of them. Four of them were later. Um, there's also a World War Z floating around my room, and let's see. I didn't have. Oh, here we go. Found Hawk. Found it. <laughs> but there you go. I am a very, very boring person, otherwise. I'm pretty sure I have other new games I've got this month. And, yeah, I thought about getting Pokemon Sap and decided against it anymore. I suck, because my friend's got it anyway, so I can just play her game. But there you go. Finally done. Now I can put all those books away. <laughs> ah, oh, shit! Hit her off. No, just think about it. I have to put all those books away. Oh my god. It has. Eh, eh. I think the thumbnail uh, showed you some of the pile. So. No, I actually showed the whole pile. Uh, it was just not sorted out in weeks. Uh, uh, yeah, this is his workout for the day. Uh, uh, mm. eh, eh. Oops, move it in the shot. I'm a bad cameraman. Oh, that's fine. I'm a bad host. Because eh. I'm making eh. you do all the work. There you go. You can stick that over there somewhere. Yeah. And last pile. Yeah. Eh. Eh. So that's just a monthly, monthly haul. Now. That's a monthly haul. As like we said, it wasn't because we ordered them all in the same month. It's just that they decided to come in the same month. Oh, yeah. So, until next time. Read all the things and correct all the things. <laughs> Yay! Yay.